Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about blanching process. Blanching is one of the main process comes under the thermal processing of food. Blanching performs variety of functions. One of the main function is to destroy enzymatic activity in vegetables and some fruits prior to processing or storage. Let's elaborate this point. As we know that vegetable contain different enzymes which are responsible for this spoilage. Among these enzymes, catalase and peroxidase are also there. These are heat resistant enzymes in vegetables. If these enzymes are destroyed, then other enzymes that are responsible for spoilage will be denatured also. So we can say that catalase and peroxidase act as marker enzymes which determine whether blanching process is successful or not. Besides catalase and peroxidase, there are some other enzymes also which causes undesirable changes in fruits and vegetables. These enzymes are PPO, polyphenol oxidase, polygalactouranase which is also known as pectinase, chlorophyllase and so on. Now what happens when blanching process is omitted or under blanching is done? Then this process will be ineffective resulting in undesirable changes in sensory as well as nutritional attributes of food products. In short, we can say that there will be loss of quality. Similarly, when too much heat treatment is given, it also damages the vegetables. Then how we can achieve adequate enzyme inactivation? For this, we have to heat the food rapidly to preset or predefined temperature for preset time period. And then it is cooled rapidly to near ambient temperature. The second function of blanching is to reduce the microbial load up to 90% present on the surfaces of food. So it helps in preservation. It is not the final method of preservation, but it is a pre-treatment between the preparation of raw material and further processing steps. The third function of blanching is to soften the vegetable tissues to facilitate filling into containers during canning. The fourth function is to remove air from intercellular spaces of vegetables. As a result, the density of the food increases and helps in formation of a headspace vacuum in cans. Now, Factors affecting blanching. The first factor is type of vegetable or fruit. Most vegetables that do not receive a high temperature heat treatment must be heated to minimal temperature to inactivate natural enzymes. Size, shapes of food pieces, endogenous or natural enzymes present on food surfaces, blanching temperature, method of heating as well as heat conductivity of food pieces. Heat conductivity means measure of ability to conduct the heat. These all are the factors affecting the blanching process. Now the effects of blanching on foods. Minerals, water soluble components like vitamin B and vitamin C are lost during blanching through leaching and thermal destruction. Total soluble solids and carbohydrates are also lost by leaching. Blanching brightens the color of some fruits and vegetables by removing air and dust on their surfaces. It softens the texture of vegetables and facilitates filling into containers before canning. It also removes the pesticide residues from the surfaces of fruits and vegetables. 
if the blanching is done properly then there is no loss in flavor and aroma blanching is of two types wet blanching and dry blanching wet blanching requires water for their processing dry blanching doesn't require water for their processing wet blanching includes steam blanching and hot water blanching dry blanching includes microwave blanching infrared blanching and high pressure blanching dry blanching methods are not yet used commercially on a large scale only wet blanching methods are used commonly now these days steam blanching let us suppose that this is a mesh conveyor that carries food from inlet to outlet points this mesh conveyor is enclosed in a tunnel or a chamber having steam atmosphere nozzles are present on the top of the chamber to release the vapors also water sprays are used at the inlet and outlet points let us suppose that this is a uh, food product this red sphere is a food product present at inlet point it is carried by the mesh conveyor and exposed to first water spray then steam and at last the second water spray at the outlet point the residence time of the food is controlled by the speed of the conveyor and the length of the tunnel steam blanching only preferred for foods with a large area of cut surfaces it is done for 30 to 90 seconds only leaching losses are lesser than hot water blanching so there is a higher nutrient retention in steam blanching as compared to hot water blanching in hot water blanching the food product is dipped in hot water for 1 to 5 minutes now the summary of what we have studied you can pause the video and read the slide thoroughly so that's all thanks for watching i hope this video will be helpful for you if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends also subscribe my channel for more such videos also follow me on instagram my instagram handle is foodtechworld for recent and interesting updates